Hey folks, Prepper Princess. So I thought that it would be kind of a good idea to go over my budget. I get a lot of ideas from the commenters on my channel and one of the commenters said it would be so easy to live on $800 a month if their house was paid off. Because my house is paid off, this can make things look a little bit, you know, like I'm spending a lot of money through my budget. In one of my previous videos, I had said that I try to live on $800 a month. And of course, somebody had to chime in and say that they could do way better than me. So I'm going to go over my bills and you guys can see what I spend on spend. I can't go over all of the finances because of the way YouTube is set up. I have a contract with them saying how I can't say how much I make with them. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go over a few things with you that I thought you might find interesting and see if you would be able to do better than me in my situation. So let's get to it. Okay, folks, so it was requested that I redo this video. Um, I did post it last night, and all I got were comments in the comments section about how my math didn't add up because I, the bottom dollar was correct, but um, I guess I had missed one of the bills, which made it look like I didn't know how to add, but I have my calculator here now. I have rewritten everything, on pre-written everything on a piece of paper, so I know that I'm going to correctly present this. Okay, so living on $800 a month. So you've got $800 a month. Okay, first thing that needs to go to your monthly bills is $320 for property taxes. This is going to be different in every state. California, New Jersey, and New York are the worst states, but for right now, that's what I've got. Okay, that leaves me with $480. After that, the next bill that has to come out is homeowner's insurance. Um, if your house burns down, you want to make sure that you have a new house to come back to. All right. So that leaves you with $415. And then after that, you have to have electricity to your house, right? So average electricity, about $75. That is not what my bill is. You guys have seen my bills and that it, mine are extremely low. Most people's are in the hundreds of dollars. So this is an extremely conservative figure and that's for gas and electric. So that leaves us with $340. Then you have to have water. Everybody likes to go to work smelling good, and I'm sure that your coworkers appreciate you smelling good too. So that takes you down to $290. Then you have to pay for gas. Gas disposal, um, Sorry, garbage, not gas disposal. <laughs> garbage disposal, gas disposal, same thing. So then you have to pay for garbage. This is usually a quarterly bill, but it rounds out to about that. And this, by the way, is the smallest can that you can get. They go up to 50 to $75 a month. So this is the smallest can, and I'm sure that uh, you guys can attest that the prices do get bigger. That leaves you with... $265. Then you have a vehicle. Let's assume that your vehicle is completely paid off. Everything is in tip top shape. Okay. You still only have $265. Well, you need something to power that vehicle. So you're looking at about $150 a month in gasoline. That's just to get your car from A to B. Uh, I spend about this and um, I do have a long commute. Most people have commutes of approximately 25 to 30 miles and I have an extremely gas efficient vehicle. I think it's 36 miles to the gallon, but I swear when I'm on cruise control on the freeway, I get 50 miles to the gallon, but that doesn't matter. So, so that leaves you with $115. Okay. Um, in addition to the gasoline, you're also going to need car insurance. Car insurance has an average of about $45. Uh, this will depend on your driving record, where you live, and everything else, but mine's actually about $35, but this is just a broad term. My car is 20 years old now, and it's not worth hardly anything, so that leaves you with $70. Okay, you also have to pay your car registration in order to keep it on the road. We're just going to put that at about $20 because this is going to be very different based on the age of your car and the model and the color and everything else. So that leaves you a whopping $50. Woohoo! Um, a lot of the comments that I got before remaking this video were people saying, I live on $800 a month, no problem. Well, more than likely you don't own your own home or you don't own your own car. That's just the way it is. People who rent in 
extremely low um, rental areas who can get an apartment for three fifty and have their water and garbage pay for. Hey, that's awesome. That takes out your homeowner's insurance, your water, garbage. Some people even go without a car, so that would be gone. But this is just simple average living. And that leaves you with $50. The $50, that is for, gosh, food, drinks, entertainment, uh, giving, tithing, um, anything that you can think of, car maintenance, home maintenance. What if your water heater breaks out? What if you blow a tire on the freeway? Um, and people don't take these into consideration. I wish in high school people would have gone over this stuff with me so that I would have known what I was prepared for. So even I can't live on $800 a month. I'm up to about 1000 a month now. The price of everything is going up, so that means this thing is a lot more difficult. But this is just basic bills. Did you know that the average car payment is over $500 a month now for a car? And at least three out of four Americans have a car payment. <laughs> That, to me, is just complete insanity, and there's a whole bunch of other things to go over, but I wanted to give you guys an overall thing to let you guys know that it's not easy. I, I can't even live on $800 a month, my, and my house is paid off, so to that subscriber who told me I could live on $800 a month, no problem if my house was paid, up, paid off, um, I suggest you go over the bills. Uh, go over the bills before you say anything like that. And the property taxes here, fortunately, I inherited the home under a proposition under Obama. Most of my neighbors pay two to three times this in property taxes. So I'm extremely blessed to have this house and extremely lucky. But this is something that you guys should go over, all right, and think about that. And this doesn't even include cable and Internet. I mean, cable and Internet, cell phone, um, didn't even put those in there. So take away that 50 bucks right there for a cell phone. At least. Most bills are over $100. Hey, look. Look what you've got at the end of the month with just a house, a car, and a cell phone. Congratulations. You're doing great. So for those of you who call me out, think that um, you could do it better than me, I, I suggest you try. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out.